Come with me as I show you the Pegasus Royal Resort Alanya. Lobby area, lovely and cool, and you've got the air conditioning on. To the right, you have reception, and on this way, you have your two wraps and a bit of shopping and a bar. So we'll go this way first. Have your first couple of shops, some jewellery. That one is normally open. This has towels and cover-ups. And then this is a bit of a souvenir shop. In this area we've aptly named the cool area. Not because it's cool, but it's cool as in temperature wise. We spend a lot of time in the evenings sitting around here. You get free Wi-Fi in this room. You got some more seats around that side as well. Then a large selection of seats through here. And then you've got your main bar area right at the end there. So we'll go back this way, back into reception, and I'll show you the buffet restaurant. Just past reception, you have the entrance to the main buffet. You can enter it from our cool room. Um, you can see there, this is dress code for the evenings. Although I don't think it's actually a strip, as I've not seen any of it enforced. Uh, and sanitizer station, I'll tell you a little bit more about that, but do make sure you're sanitizing your hands. They are big on sustainability, so they do record how much waste is being thrown away. And then here you have your entertainment board, and it shows you what entertainment is on each night. I really like this. This is a large map of the three sites, which labels where everything is. You can see that one there. That is the Pegasus Royal Hotel, the one we are staying in. Just next to the jewel shop, you've got some stairs. If you follow these stairs down, they'll take you to a couple of more shops. So here are your other shops. You have your hair done. You've got some clothes shops. Sunglasses. And bags and shoes. And this is your general store as well. Say hi to this guy, he does a good deal on the handbag. <laughs> and make sure you come and check out all the high quality clothes which are on sale in this shop. If you come down the stairs and turn left rather than going right to the shop, you can come along to the entertainment section where there is again free Wi Fi. To be fair, there's free Wi Fi almost everywhere you go, it's only really in the rooms. You've got games you can play, toys for the kids, nice chill out area where you can play some bowling. We haven't actually done that yet, that might be quite good. Uh, and there's a bit of a bar area here. Uh, it does say Sky Sports there, but I'm not actually seeing any TV screens or any sports. I and mean, again, we haven't really used this area that much. Along the same corridor, you have the doctor, or it's more of a paramedic, they can take you to the doctors. You've also got the spa area where you can do your um, beach towels and also the indoor pool. But from what Frey tells me, this is really cold, so we're not going to try that one. We're going to go out through this door to the main pool. Uh, by the main pool, you've got the Buddha Bar. This is quite a relaxed, chilled area. Uh, during the night, you have uh, a bit of entertainment on as well. You've got a little mini amphitheatre here. But it's a great little chill out area in the evening. All these lights up and it looks really nice. You've got an ice cream station just here at the end of the pool. You do like Mr. Whippy style ice creams. This is the main royal pool. It's quite a long pool, stretches all the way down there towards the Budabon ice cream stand, and up to the top here, where you've got these 
free water slides, which are great fun, especially the big green one. Really good. Lots of entertainment going on here in the day, music playing, games. It's quite a good pool, actually, but we spend most of our time in the next pool. Come to this guy if you want your photo shoots doing. Although we always does take the mickey out of my accents. All right. <laughs> That's one in it. But then you can get all the uh, mermaid shoots done as well as family photo shoots for the evening. This is Captain Nemo's castle. Now this is full of water slides for all ages. We've had some great fun using these. The water is a bit cooler than the main pool, but you've got some really good, good water slides you can use. This is one of the amphitheaters. So this is the Royal Amphitheater. Um, we're not a fan of this place, uh, and I'll show you why as we get in. As you can see, it is all bench seated. And that bar, which you can see right up front, that actually isn't open. So to get a drink, you have to go in through the main area to that bar in the cool area to get a drink from there. Now this does have good entertainment on, but it's, it's not convenient when you want to go to the toilet or you want to get a drink. I'll just show you the beach. This is the ramp, there are steps. Uh, at the end of each step, there is also a hose. You can see one here uh, the shower so that you can wash all the sand off you okay out of all your sandals uh, the sea is beautiful uh, I don't think I've ever experienced a sea as warm as this sea like it is so warm it's it's lovely um, you've, got, you've got water sports going on on it head offers see people parasailing jet skiing it's a good beach I thought you will see a few little lizards So this is the pool we spent most of our time in. You can understand why it's massive. It's really good. You've got an amazing fountain going on over there. Right bang in the middle, you have got the island bar. It's a shame they don't actually have the swim up bar open anymore. I'm not too sure why, but that looks like it hasn't been open for quite a while. And then just past the bar here, we'll see. Oh, there's Nana. So if there's Nano, we might see the kids down there. And there we go, we've got some more slides. <laughs> Those two are really good. That one there isn't. It's actually really slow and we got stuck. Cutting through the island bar to the other side of the pool. I'll show you because on the other side of this is the other entertainment area. This is the area we've been using every night instead. Just a quick mention, you have got this children's little splash area, which has got a couple more slides. This is just on the other side of the main slides on the other pool. But this is a good little area for the younger children to come play on some slides uh, with much shallower water. For those interested in Kids Club, it is located in between the main royal and resort hotels and it's right there we haven't actually used the kids club so this is the other area for the evening entertainment so this is the resort amphitheater here you can see there's chairs rather than benches it does get busy so you want to get around about kids disco to maybe about half seven eight o'clock you've got toilets down them steps there you've got the entertainment section which you've got games rides you can play on see you down there You've also got these motorbike light up rides you can rent out. We're going to have a go at one of them, that should be good fun. But right down there, you can see there's another bar and there's an ice cream station, but it says an ice cream station you have to pay for. Through the doors at the end, you've got the resort shops and restaurants as well. So now I'll take you on a little room tour. We go. So in here, first of all, you have the bathroom, good size sink, really good size shower, pop it in there where you've got shower and an andaled shower head. That's really good and really handy when it comes to showering the children. A window for some reason. 
we'll move on down into the bedroom drop off my shopping bags this is the double bed some light on your TV very large mirror and then through here this is where the children were sleeping you can see the maids have been in today now we paid for a sea view room and that is the view we've got let's go out onto the balcony there we go now we're all right next to the Buddha bar which does mean at night you can't hear that noise but in the morning you're waking up to that view uh, what's really handy on the balcony you've got one of these clothes racks so you can handle up all your wet swimwear but as you can see very spacious rooms we've got air conditioning in each room ours is a little noisy i don't know whether that's just us or whether that's all of them uh, but that can get really quite noisy at night but i prefer to have some noise and be cool plenty of storage actually plenty of storage in here more shopping bags up there can't keep out the shop plenty of storage in there and, and again more storage fridge and more storage okay so that was the tour of the hotel itself now just to talk a little bit about the good points the bad points and our experience overall uh, because i want to be completely honest with everybody who is watching this video so uh, the good points is the hotel has got some fantastic facilities the pools are really really good kids absolutely love them there's loads of water slides which is great and they're all really suitable for children of multiple ages as well the situation with wi-fi is really good because you can get into pretty much all the common areas even outside next to the pools the only area we've not been able to get wi-fi is actually inside the room we can't even get it on the balcony because we just see we're very close to the butter bar we can pick up the wi-fi from them and so actually i wouldn't even bother paying for the wi-fi if it just means you're only going to benefit whilst you're in the room the staff at the hotel are incredible. They're really friendly, really helpful. They'll do what they can to try and help you out. Uh, the only thing I would say with the staff is, you know, reward them. So if they do do something good for you, just give them a little bit of a tip, because from what I'm led to believe is they don't earn a great deal of money in here. Uh, so just give them a little bit of a tip. We would often go maybe 50 leave a night, which currently is about two pound 50, something like that. Uh, for, the, for the waiters uh, whilst we're eating our meals uh, and maybe just tip you clean it at the start and then you'll get a better, a great one. Well, I don't know if you get a better service but we, we tipped our clean at the start and we had a great service. Okay, now on to the things which weren't so great and I think the hotel could improve on. Uh, one of them being the food options available. As all inclusives go, I don't think this is the best when it's come to the food. The selection is quite small. Um, it, to be fair, I know we're in Turkey um, and it's a lot more continental than maybe the all inclusives you go to in the likes of Spain. Um, but there was, it was a very continental uh, menu. I always tend to find something we liked, but you got fed up with the food very quickly. Drinks, again, not very good. So the beer, absolutely fine. If you're just going to come and drink beer, absolutely fine. But the cocktails are really weak, unless you paid the premium for, for the proper cocktails. So I wouldn't bother with that really at all. The food and food and drink needed to be improved. And the final thing I think it's really important to tell you about is during our time here that we all came down with a stomach bug. Uh, we landed very early hours on the Friday. Everyone was fine up until the Tuesday. Uh, and it was on the Tuesday that I came down quite ill with a stomach bug. Uh, we thought potentially had this been food poisoning from the previous day's trip. Uh, but then later in the afternoon, uh, Freya came down un uh, unwell. She was quite quite poorly. And then the, the following day, it happened throughout the family. It was just like a knock on effect. Each day went on, somebody else got ill, which meant, you know, it was quite clearly a, a stomach bug and not a, a, a 
bouts of food poisoning which would normally last about 24 hours. Um, we did try and improve sanitation and, and we have reported it to Tui and the hotel. The hotel actually sent uh, our youngest Sophie down to the uh, doctors uh, and they paid the doctor's fee just to get her checked out uh, and we've got some medicines and things like that. So it has slightly put us off the hotel but I'm not saying that the hotel is at fault for that, this could have actually happened anywhere, any hotel we could have been in. If one person has gone in that hotel who's ill uh, and then it could easily pass on and transfer from one person to the next.